Let's take a look at user performance number five, Techno Loop One. Well, we know that this is a layer performance, as the display tells us. And we can also see that it consists of four combined patches. And those are the names. Now, supposing you want to isolate just one of those patches and hear it on its own. This is how we do it. This button here marked local TXRX. Press it once and look for a parameter called local switch. Here we can define which of the four parts are going to be played when we touch the keyboard. And we can mute using these buttons here. So these tone switch buttons are now functioning as part mute buttons. Part one on its own, part two, and so on. And these changes are reflected in the display. So once the change has been made, we can either use it permanently by writing the performance to user memory, or we can just use it as a temporary change. Let's hit exit and come back out to the play mode. Now, once again, the asterisk shows that our performance has been modified. Over to the sound palette. Once again, we can use the sound palette to change the relative levels of the patches within this performance. In patch mode, we used it to change the levels of the tones. In performance mode, we can use it to change the levels of the patches. And we can also change the sound characteristics of those patches using the filter envelope modification. So let's just try setting up for level. Bring all the faders down and listen to each part separately. And of course, the correct balance can then be achieved. Now, 16 parts are available in total. We only have four sliders here. So how do we know which slider affects which part? Well, the answer is, if our current part selection is anywhere within the first four parts, these will respond controlling parts one, two, three, and four respectively. If I select part five, these controls will affect five, six, seven, and eight, and so on. Nine, 10, 11, 12.